We are now seeing a, a fan tail fly catcher uh, very meticulously making its nest. Uh, small birds take a lot of effort uh, to make the perfect nest and often they are more neater in its construction than the larger birds like a white bellied seagull its nest can be 100 times bigger than this but it is also very messy uh, and uh, they will pick their location for safety a location where it can't be easily seen by predatory birds as well as snakes because snakes are very active uh, and it's a it's a it's a lot of uh, it's, it's a labor of love uh, in making this nest and uh, they do their best to raise the next generation this uh, one oh we're seeing a uh, newly hatched uh, painted stock uh, it's a common bird but uh, in the dry zone jungles of Yala, Bundala, Kumana, it is very frequently seen. But uh, when the hatchlings come out initially out of their nest, then they will join their parents in the water and learn to uh, fish because for the rest of their life, that will be the way they will uh, make a living. Parent stocks are common but very colorful birds and uh, makes photographers very happy uh, when they are seen in large numbers. Now this is a very rarely seen bird, it is a black neck stock, it is also known as the tallest bird in the country but there are only about 5 to 7 of these in the island at any given time. Uh, but with a little luck you will see one or two at Yala, maybe one in Bondala, one in Kumana. Uh, we are now looking at a flock of whistling teal, they are also seen in the urban areas around Colombo near paddy fields. They live in large flocks and they like to wade and uh, look for food in the, the very shallow water. So after the monsoons, uh, it is good time for the whistling tail and we are now seeing a colony of open bill stalks nesting and they, are, they nest in, in numbers uh, and that is done naturally for protection because in numbers they have a bit more, more sets of eyes looking at uh, what is incoming as danger. And the same location can be used by different species in turns, that is how beautifully nature shares their resources. Peacock. Well, very easily, very commonly seen but a bird of paradise almost. You will never get enough of seeing a male peacock dancing and he is doing his best to attract the attention of the girls. Uh, it is not always that they succeed so they have to work very hard. <laughs> That's a little beautiful bird called the Ceylon Shama and it sings beautifully every morning. Uh, singing bird. It is a singing bird. Uh, Shama is a beautiful, beautiful bird and then of course the very common green bee eaters, very often seen but uh, you never get tired of looking at birds.